Introducing our new giveaway car. This 2016 GT350 we already had set up for you guys with a Hellion Twin Turbo Kit and Weld Wheels. Not only that, we're gonna give you $15,000 on top of that. All you have to do to enter win this car is go to 1320video.com. Every dollar you spend is one entry to win this car in 15 grand cash. So we have Beater Bomb right here, and then we have Boost GT right here. Neither of them are racing in the small tire, but they are racing each other. I think best two out of three is what I heard. These are two of the baddest small tire cars I think I've filmed, and they want to race each other and uh, see who's the best, I guess, on a no prep track. So I'm going to talk to them, see what kind of trash talk we can get out of them. I think Boosted just fixed his car or put it back together yesterday, so it should be pretty fun. Uh, what? What are you doing today? Uh, just, uh, kissing hands, shaking babies. Yeah, okay, what are you doing later? Uh... You're not racing small tire. No. And Boost GT's here, and he's also not racing small tire. Yep. But you guys are racing each other. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hey, was uh, this a grudge thing, or how'd this get set up? Oh, yeah, we hate each other. Uh, I hate's a strong word. I thought Don't you, use you, that. You took your kids over to meet him, and I saw <laughs> all the hate earlier. Yeah, no, uh, Boosted and I have raced a lot years we've been racing dude I don't know five six years we wanted to have the next edge on the event and upon the small tire class car count dwindling and dwindling and dwindling because let's be honest you I beat have, people up out here I have a major home field advantage here you know I put on the event and a couple of guys suggested like hey just sit want this one out and I said not a problem well, then all of a sudden, 16 cars pre-registered, then 32, <laughs> and we're up to 40. We have 40 small on the there, Yeah, Damn. 40 pre-registered. Whether or not you think it's because I wasn't racing, the data doesn't lie. I mean, it's <laughs> it's pretty simple facts, I mean, but that's besides the point. Boosted and I are here, have a friendly grudge race. We got nothing against each other. We just want to... We feel like Boosted's, you know, top tier small tire racer. Oh yeah. You know, and I, I would say the Beater Bomb is top tier small tire guys, racer. You guys are right up there. You know, so it'd be it's an excellent matchup that Boosted happened to be on one of his weeks off of No Prep Kings, so he was able to come on out, and we'll see how it goes. We're gonna race a best of three, you know. Best two out of three. Yep. So we'll see. Did you make some test hits last night? No, nope, I did didn't. Boosted make test hits last night? No. Nope. Really? Boosted made a test hit earlier today. Right. And that was it. Uh, if he needs another test hit, he's more than oh! up to it. I don't if know. If he needs one, now we're getting a little trash yeah, back yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any money on the line between you two? No. Just a friendly grudge race. Okay, okay, okay. You know? Well, are you doing it between rounds? Is that the deal? Yep. Or? Okay. yep. All right. Well, good, good luck against Boosted. <laughs> How's it going, Juan? What up? Try not to get darker. <laughs> Mr. Boosted, how are we doing today? Man, it's hot. How are you? I'm hot, is what I am. Man, hot. Yeah, both. All the above. What's the game plan today? Well, the first game plan is not to wreck. Um, second game plan is to try to get to the finish line before Joey. Okay. That's a, a great game plan so far. I mean, it's pretty solid. Right. Uh, I'll tell you, the car like two days ago wasn't running. We actually broke the lifter doing some radial racing like, like a week ago, two weeks ago. Uh, so I got it running two nights ago and I just loaded it up and that was the first pass. The first really? pull up, first everything. I literally finished it uh, yesterday morning, loaded the trailer and started driving. Damn. So that was the first everything. I told Juan, I was like, look, if it's dumping fluid everywhere, just like let me know so I can pull over. Because I wasn't sure, you know. So, but we got it back and made, I mean, it was a pretty soft hit. We just wanted to go down the track. Um, and we'll just look at, look at the data and we'll go from there. I think I need to uh, 
probably change transmission fluid and it's probably time. I haven't changed it in about, oh, I don't know, five months. So. Might be time. Might probably going to change it here in just a second. I'm going to cool down real quick. But uh, we'll do that. That's probably about all the thing we're going to change. We might put a little more to it down low. And we'll see. What is the current setup on the car? It's a small block forward. It's still four power. Yeah, oh yeah. It's 393 cubic inches. Single turbo uh, from Jose and Force Reductions. That's about it. No okay. corner. Okay. It's a pretty heavy car. I mean, it's still full dash, the doors, still got the door speakers in now. I mean, it's, it's just, I, don't, I don't want to cut it up. Mm -hmm. So, it just is what it is, man. It's a big old tank. I'm excited to see this matchup because I think I've seen you guys race before, but I never get to see you guys race three consecutive times. Yeah, he's pretty, yeah, you get to see him beat me three times in a row. Oh, come on. You got to give yourself something. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is Joey's home track. Like, he probably has two or three hundred passes on this track. Maybe, you know I mean? yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and so he knows he's probably made a pass down this track right now, you know, at 3 p.m. in the afternoon when it's 90 degrees outside. Right. It's nothing but goo up on the start line. I guarantee he's made. Yeah, so he knows what's going to go down this track. Mm -hmm. So it's all good, though. We'll, we'll try. Sorry, well, we thanks for coming up to our home track. Yeah, man. And uh, good luck against Jerry. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. At the end of the day of filming, all of our batteries are either dead or on their way to dying. So when we need to go to Mexico, the EcoFlow comes in handy for us. We plug everything, and by the time we get there, we got enough charge for the night. This little unit right here is the EcoFlow Delta II. They just dropped this thing. It's hot off the presses, and I'm run through the features for you. On this side of the unit, we have two USB-Cs, two USB-As, and two USB-A fast chargers. On this side, we have six AC wall outlets offering up to 1,800 watts of power. Now, the EcoFlow Delta II is not just a battery, guys. It's got some crazy technology in it. We've got LFP batteries. Those are basically Tesla batteries, and it gives it six times longer life expectancy. You can literally monitor all the performance stats from the EcoFlow app on your phone. Now, using this thing on the road, here's a few of the features that we like the most. Number one, you can charge this thing 0% to 80% in 50 minutes, it's 5-0, or 0 to 100% in 80 minutes, 8-0. And that is seven times faster than any other competitor on the market. And if that's not enough, double it with the extended battery. And if you're at the track all week, you're nowhere near any outlets to recharge your EcoFlow, not to worry, they got you covered. This 400 watt solar panel can recharge your EcoFlow at the track from zero to 100% in three to five hours. 1320 video, powered by EcoFlow. All right guys, head down to the description, hit the link for the Delta II and use our discount code. Who we got? Who we got? Peter Bomb. Be okay, Peter Bomb. Who you got? A little boosted. I think Joey's got more data here. You gotta find the point. Go with Peter Bomb. Be okay, okay. Peter Bomb, crew chief. What, 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 how you reading the track? What are we looking at here? You know, I didn't say anything. But I would go into Joey wanted to, me to let you know that you're doing a great job, bud. Better burnout for boosted there. Boosted was 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 winning, and then they go through the traps and Joey won. So I had to be close. I'm gonna talk to him as soon as I get back. In case you're wondering, the end of the track comes up really fast, <laughs> really fast. Did nobody warn you? Well, you know, I knew that, but when I was in the car, I forgot about it. Right. I 
about this little guy back here too? Parachute? You Did you move it? Yeah. Uh, well, I knew I needed to pull it, but I just didn't pull it soon enough. Yeah. Clearly. Clearly. Did you lock him up or what? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. We got to stop though. You know what? We got to stop. <laughs> All right. Congratulations on your first win. But I was supposed to win. Oh, is that how you guys have it set up? This is rigged? No, no, no. Like, oh, it's my home track. I right. got a million hits here. Right, right. We used to put up a really good fight. Though. He said it was a car. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I guess that's a good fight for oh, here yeah. against you. For he sure. he told me he was going to turn it up and he was going to gap you next round. Oh, we'll see, I guess. He didn't actually say that, but I would <laughs> say he said that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see you, we'll see you second round. Thank you. You're doing a great job, bud. Thanks. Thank you. in the back, you know, gas tank, radiator, all that, and it's it's hard to add are enough weight are, are to the Are you front. telling me this car doesn't have a, gr a perfect 50-50 weight distribution on it? <laughs> well, that's bad on a good racetrack when you try to go fast. Well, it was, yeah, yeah, so, yep. that's okay. It's going to have to go to three now. Yeah, I thought, I thought hometown kid over here would go out there and just beat him up twice. Well, he was too close. I had to get after it harder. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so. third round, what are, what are you going to do for third round? Hopefully not wheelie. So when we've been down this road before, Fred. Yes, yes. So no wheelie. Yeah. Wheelie isn't wheelie's cool. Wheelie isn't fast. Right. Normally doesn't win. Yet. Right. So right. hopefully somebody got some good pictures. I guess. Right. It was pretty high up there. I'd it say. It was. It was. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you third round. Thanks. Good stuff. Flipping things. What, what happened on that pass? I was just saying on your in-car cam on that pass, you right. probably can see my hands in there. Doing all kinds of stuff. Did and you, did you move the parachute? No, I, I just actually pulled it when you're supposed to pull it. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm telling you, the first time I was just mesmerized by that beautiful back bumper. That it Mustang, is nice looking. And it just, man, it just messed, it got me out of my zone. <laughs> I was out of my zone, man. But that time, there was nothing in front of me, so I wasn't out of my zone. There you go. I was on it. There you go. But I will tell you, um, you know, I just kind of just touched the little override to see if it would take it, not spin. And I was like, oh my God, my hand, how am I gonna do my parachute? That's my, that's my override hand. So I had to let off that and then hit the parachute. But at the same time, I pedaled for no reason. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no reason, I let off the gas. Yeah. So anyways, there's that. Awesome. Yeah. All right, what changes are you gonna make for third round? Uh, honestly, I'll probably leave it alone. I'm just probably gonna leave it alone. It tried to spin in that right lane down low. So that hurt the 60 foot, but I mean, even with the pedal, it went pretty fast based on my new drag. So, I mean, I don't know if it'll be enough to cover him if he makes a full pass, but at least we'll get him to do this. All right, see you through, man. All right, guys, like I said, it's best of three. Peter Bob on the first one, Boost GT on the second one. Who do you think's gonna win the last one? Let's find out, right?
got a bike to shoot. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah, the tire was bad. The tire was bad from the start. You just couldn't get enough of that rear bumper, huh? That's the problem, yep. I wanted to see some more of it. Yep, yep. <laughs> so, it's all good. It looked all right until about half track and then you, you blew it Yeah, off. I mean, we were kind of, I mean, we were right there with each other and then it lost the tire. Is what it is. That's racing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we well, had fun though. Thanks for coming to our little oh, yeah. track. Oh yeah. We had uh, good time. Hope you had a good time. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you come back. Oh yeah, for sure. See you next time, man. Yep. See you. That was fast, fast. That was fast, I've fast. I've been here before. No, I know, but I, t I, I told Sean this. That's the fast. That's the hardest I've ever seen the car leave. <laughs> period. Personally, you might have seen it leave fast better, but that was fast. It's a quick little, you got a quick little hot rod there, man. <laughs> that was fun though. Thanks for putting that on. Cause it's like, if I ever see you and Boosted race each other, it's once. And that's, right. that's all you're gonna see. It's eliminations, right. whatever. It was cool to see you guys go back and forth. So oh, yeah. thank oh, you. Yeah. I'm sure the crowd appreciated it too. I hope, I hope, uh, you we'll, know. We'll see you in the next video. I'm sure you'll thank be in you. another one. Later, buddy. <laughs> you did a good job, bud. You did a great job. All right, guys, one last thing. I want to give a special shout out to the staff here at I-29 Dragway. Uh, Doug, the manager, and then Jeremy. Uh, I asked Doug, could you get me a golf cart? Because I didn't bring one. And he said, let me see what I got. Uh, Jeremy, who works here, offered his golf cart. And this is it. This is the most epic golf cart I've ever driven. And I don't even know what it's called. It's a Yamaha something, but it's, check this out. What is that? It's like a Popemobile golf cart thing. I don't know, I've been driving it all day and people keep staring at it. I stare at it, it's freaking awesome. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you to Doug and Jeremy and everybody else here at I-29 Dragway. Uh, they go out of their way to help us out and today they did that with giving me a golf cart because there's no way I could drive my F-250 around the pits. They were a little, they were a little packed, so shout out to them.